Hey there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add workflow to a SharePoint online list using Microsoft Power Automate. And what this workflow is going to do is it's going to fire an email notification whenever a new list item is created or an existing list item is updated. Uh, before we get into the workflow, I am going to use an out of the box issue tracker template. This template is available in Microsoft lists. And this list just tracks information about issues. And when we add our workflow, what the workflow is going to do is it's going to look for the person that an item is assigned to, and it's going to fire an email notification to that person whenever an item is created or an item is updated. All right. So to go ahead and get started, what you want to do is you want to navigate to flow.microsoft.com. This is going to bring you into the Microsoft Power Automate landing page. From here, you want to click on the create button. And then you want to click on automated cloud flow. This represents a flow that is triggered by a designated event. And then you'll want to go ahead and give your flow a name. And we are going to call this flow email notification when item created. Okay. And then the next step is to go ahead and choose the trigger for your flow. And in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to click on when an item is created or modified and you can see the description. So this is going to trigger whenever a new item is created and every time an item is modified. Okay. So we're going to select that and then you want to go ahead and click on create. All right. This now brings us into the flow designer and you can see here, we currently have one box on our page here. And what we're going to do is we are going to select the address for the SharePoint site that our SharePoint online list lives. So I'm going to click on this drop down and Power Automate is going to go fetch the available SharePoint sites. Okay. And what I am going to do is I am going to click on my leadership team. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the list name field and I'm going to go ahead and select the list that I want to add the workflow to. And in this case, it's the issue tracker. So you want to select your list. Okay. So you've now defined your trigger. The next step is to click on the new step button. Okay. And what I'm going to do is in the search connectors and action box, I am going to search for send an email. Now, as you can see in the action list, there are a whole bunch of different send an email actions. Uh, so you can choose whichever one you want. I am going to go ahead and I am going to set, choose the send an email V2. So this is going to fire an email through my Office 365 Outlook account. Okay. So what we're going to do now is define an email template that should be fired whenever a new list item is created or an existing list item is updated. Okay. Um, and so what you can see here on the send an email V2 action is uh, the two subject and body field. If you clicked show advanced options, this is going to bring up additional email fields that you can um, define as part of this email template. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click into the to field and then I am going to go ahead and click on the add dynamic content button. What this is going to do is it's going to allow me to pipe in dynamic content from the list item that is triggering the workflow. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and select the assigned to email. What this is going to do is it's going to take that item that is created or updated. It's going to retrieve the value that is populated in the assigned to field that it's going to um, pass the email for that person into this template. So that is how um, the workflow will determine who to send the email to. Okay. Um, in the subject line, I am just going to add some static content. So issue update. Okay. So the subject line will always read issue update. And then in the body of the email, what I'm going to do is say hello. And again, I'm going to pipe in some dynamic content from the dynamic content menu here, and I'm going to pipe in the assigned to display name. So this is going to take again, the person that is in the assigned to field, that's going to pipe in their display name. So we're going to say hello to that person. And we're going to say, please 
review the following issue colon and we're going to again pass in some dynamic content and this time we're going to grab the issue description field okay and then we're just going to say thank you okay um, so again you can add any dynamic content from your item from this dynamic content menu so these are all of the fields as well as metadata of those items okay we're just going to leave this as is for now uh, and what i'm going to go go ahead and do is click on the save button Okay, and you can see that the workflow is saved. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test this as the next step, okay? So to test a flow, you wanna scroll up to the top right-hand corner of the flow designer and you wanna click on test, okay? And I am going to choose manually. This is going to allow me to go in and manually trigger this flow. And then I'm gonna come down to the bottom and click on test here, okay? Now I'm going to flip back to my list, my issue tracker. I have one item in this list. I'm gonna click on edit and I'm just going to change a field. So I'm gonna just change the date reported. Again, the workflow triggers whenever a new item is created or updated. So we're updating an existing item. So it will trigger the flow. Okay, and if I come back into Power Automate, you can see here that the flow is running as the page is loading. And we can see that the flow ran successfully. We have the green message at the top of the screen as well as the check marks here. Okay, and if I flip into my Office 365 Outlook, I can see that I received an email. So the subject line is issue update. We can see here it says, hello, my name. It piped in my name from that list item in the assigned to field. Okay, and we can see that it also piped in the issue description. When you click the home page link, it doesn't reload the page. And again, just to verify if we check out the issue description in our list, when you click the home page link, it doesn't reload. Okay, um, so that is how to add a workflow to a SharePoint online list. Um, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like the video, please drop a comment below, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Power Automate and SharePoint online tutorials. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.